Hello everyone. In this video, I am supposed to talk about the vector equations of plants. But I found that when finding the vector equations of plants, I must know how to find the intersection between lines and plants. So in this video, I am going to talk about the intersections of vectors in 3D space. The video about the vector equations of plants will be the following. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe my channel by hitting the subscribe button below so that you won't miss any videos later. If you find that this video is useful, please share to your friends, to your students or to anybody who need this. So, let's start the lesson right now. In this video, I am going to talk about the intersections in three-dimensional vectors. Here, I am going to focus in three types of intersection. First one is point of intersection between two lines. The second one is point of intersection between a line and a plane. Then the third one is line of intersection between two planes. Now, let's look into it one by one. First, I'm going to talk about how to find the point of intersection between two lines. Now, let's look at this example. Find the position vector of the intersection point of lines L1 and L2. In this question, the vector equation of the lines are given in unit vector form. So to find the intersection point, so first I'm going to change the vector equation in column vector form. Now for the first line L1, this is the position vector, this is the direction vector, and I write the equation in a single column vector and I name it as 1. Then same thing for the line L2, I write the vector equation in a single column vector and I name it as number 2. So in order to find the intersection point means I'm going to do simultaneous equation. So now I equal the equation 1 with equation 2, then I get the equation here. From here, I can get three linear equations. They are 2 plus lambda 1 equals 2 plus lambda 2, and I name it as number 3. Then the second one, 1 plus lambda 1 equals 2 plus 2 lambda 2, and I name it as number 4. Then number 3, 2 lambda 1 equals negative 1 plus lambda 2, and I name it as number 5. Here I have three linear equations. Now from these three linear equations, I can simply use any two equations to find the value of lambda 1 and lambda 2. Here I choose equation 3 and 4. Now when I carry out simultaneous equation by using 4 minus 3, now I get lambda 2 is negative 1. So when I substitute lambda 2 into the equation number 4, and I get lambda 1 is negative 1. Then after that, I must make sure that lambda 1 and lambda 2 satisfy the other equation. That is the equation number 5. So when I substitute lambda 1 and lambda 2 into equation number 5, so I find that on the left hand side is negative 2 and on the right hand side is also negative 2. Means in this case, lambda 1 and lambda 2 satisfy the equation number 5. Now I can make conclusion that L1 intersects with L2. Then the following step, I must go and find the intersection point. 
Now, if in case when I substitute lambda 1 and lambda 2 into equation 5, I find that on the left hand side is negative 3 and on the right hand side is negative 2. That is left hand side not equal to right hand side. So in this case, lambda 1 and lambda 2 do not satisfy the equation 5. So means line L1 does not intersect with line L2. Now, if we find that line L1 intersects line L2, so the next step is we are going to find the intersection point. That is, we can use lambda 1 and sub into the line L1 or we can sub line L2 with lambda 2. So now, I use lambda 1 and substitute into line L1. So when I substitute lambda 1 into line L1, so I find that the position vector is 1, 0, and negative 2. Then for the final answer, since in the question, the vector it is given under unit vector form, so means for the final answer of the position vector, we need to change it back into unit vector form. That is i minus 2k. Now we look at another example. Find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the lines L1 and L2. In this question, the vector equation of line is given in Cartesian form. The Cartesian form of vector equation of straight line consists of three unknown. So in this case, we are going to choose any two unknowns and do simultaneous equation. Here I choose the unknown x and y. So from the line L1, term x equals term y and I ignore term z. So for line L2, term x equals term y and I ignore term z. Now from L1, when I rearrange the equation, I get one linear equation and I name it as 1. And from line L2, when I rearrange the equation, I'll get another linear equation and I name it as number 2. So by using these two equations, now I'm going to carry out simultaneous equation in order to find the value of x and y. So first, I multiply equation 2 with 2, then I get the equation number 3. Then by using equation number 1 minus equation number 3 then I get 5y equals 15 then from here I get the value of y is equal to 3 then I substitute y equals 3 into equation number 2 here I get the value of x is equal to 5 then I'm going to substitute x or y into line L1 and line L2 to find the third unknown that is the value of Z so for line L1 I choose Y equals with Z so when I substitute Y with 3 into the equation of line L1 here I find that Z is equal to 4 then I substitute y into line L2 and when I substitute y with 3, I find that z is equal to 4. Since the value of z that I calculate from line L1 and line L2 is the same, so I can make conclusion that the lines intersect each other. So therefore, the intersection point is the point x, y, z that is 5, 3 and 4.
if in case the value of z that I calculate from line L1 is different from the value of z that I calculate from line L2 so this means that the line L1 does not intersect line L2 therefore there is no intersection point now I'm going to talk about the second type of intersection that is point of intersection between a line and a plane now let's look at this question find the position vector of the intersection point between the line and the plane from the question the vector equation of line and plane are given in unit vector form to find the intersection point first I'm going to write the equation of straight line using column vector form. So now I change the equation of straight line using column vector form and I name it as 1. For the equation of the plane, same thing, I change it to column vector form and I name it as number 2. So when finding intersection point means now I'm going to do simultaneous equation. So I'm going to substitute the equation of line into the equation of plane so that I can find the lambda. So now when I substitute the line into the plane, now I'm going to find the scalar product of these two vectors that is 2 times 3 minus lambda negative 2 times negative 2 plus 2 lambda and 3 times negative 3 plus 3 lambda equals 7 then when i simplify i find that the lambda is equal to 2 then after that i'm going to substitute the lambda back into the equation of line so when i substitute the lambda back to equation of line i find that i'll get the position vector one two three so this is the position vector of the intersection point between the line and the plane but because the equation given in the question it is under ij form so means the position vector of the intersection point i'm going to change it back into ij form so therefore the position vector of the intersection point is i plus 2j plus 3k now let's look at the second example Find the coordinates of the intersection point between the line and the plane. In this question, the equation of line and planes are given in Cartesian form. So, to find the intersection point, we are going to substitute the equation of line into the equation of plane. First, I'm going to change the equation of line into parametric form. So to do this, I separate each term x, y, and z by using lambda. Then for each one, I rearrange the equation such that x, y, and z becomes subject. So this is the parametric form of the line. So now... I'm going to substitute x, y, and z into the equation of plane and after that try to find the lambda. So when I substitute x with 2 lambda, y with 1 plus lambda, z with negative 5 minus 4 lambda and when I simplify and try to find the value of lambda, I find that I'm not able to find the value of lambda. That is no solution. If this happens, means that the line does not intersect the plane. Then, therefore, no intersection point. 
if we are able to find the value of lambda, then to find the intersection point, we simply substitute the lambda into the parametric form. Then we will get the value of x, y, and z. So from here, then we will get the intersection point for x, y, and z. Next, I'm going to talk about line of intersection between two planes. Now, let's look at this question. Find the equation of the line of intersection between the planes given below here. So, when we look at the diagram, when two planes intersect each other, now the intersection is a straight line. So, when we find the equation of the intersection line, here we need two things. First one is the position vector of any point which is on the intersection line. Second one is the direction vector of the intersection line. So to find the direction vector of the intersection line, it is equal to the normal vector of the first plane times the normal vector of the second plane. So in this question, the normal vector of the first plane is 4, negative 3, and negative 4. And normal vector for the second plane is negative 2, negative 2, and 1. So when we find the vector product, we will get negative 11, 4, and negative 14. So this is the direction vector of the intersection line. So next, we are going to find the position vector of the point which is on the intersection line. So now we take away all the planes and we just focus at the intersection line. So actually, there are infinite many points which is on the intersection line. Here, I try to list down some options. The first option is the point when the intersection line meets the xy plane. So when the line meets the xy plane, value of z is equal to 0. So means we substitute value of z equals 0 into the equation of planes. So the first plane, when we substitute z with 0, we will get the first equation. Then for the second plane, when we substitute z with 0, and we rearrange so that y becomes subject, then we substitute the y into the equation 1. Then from here, I will get the value of x. Now I substitute the value of x back into equation of 2, then I'll get the value of y. So now I get the coordinates of the point where the intersection line meets the xy plane. Now since I have the position vector of the point which is on the intersection line, and I have the direction vector of the intersection line now i substitute into the equation now this is the equation of the line of intersection between the planes but because in the question the equations are given under cartesian form so now i'm going to change the equation of the intersection line into cartesian form so first i try to write the equation in parametric form so for each of it i change such that lambda becomes the subject now in case there is a fraction here here we need to put down the denominator becomes like this so same thing goes to y and z so after that i combine all these three lambda becomes an equation so now the equation of the intersection line is in the cartesian form 
Now, the second option of the point which is on the intersection line, that is when the line meets the exact plane. So, when the line meets the exact plane, y is equal to 0. So, we substitute y equals 0 in the equation of plans. So, for the first plan, when I substitute y equals 0, I get the first equation. And when I substitute y equals 0 into the second plan, I get the second equation. So, when I do simultaneous equation, where I substitute z into the first equation, now I get the value of x is 9 over 4. Now I substitute the value of x back into the equation of 2. Now I get the value of z. So here I get the coordinates of the point where the intersection line meets the xz plane. So now I have the position vector of the point which is on the intersection line and I have the direction vector of the intersection line. So when I substitute the position vector and the direction vector into the equation, now I get the equation of the line of intersection between the planes. Now I'm going to change the equation of the line into Cartesian form. So first I list down the parametric equation of the line. Then for each of it, I change lambda as the subject. So in case there is any fraction here, we need to put down the denominator. So now when I combine all the lambda, now I get the equation of the intersection line in Cartesian form. Now when we compare the answer with the answer just now, we find that the answer is different. So means the equation of the intersection line is not unique. Now, the third option for the position vector of the point that is when the intersection line meets the yz plane. So, when the intersection line meets the yz plane, x is equal to 0. So, when we substitute x equals 0 into the equation of planes, so for the first plane, when I substitute x with 0, I get the first equation. Then for the second plane, when I substitute x with 0, then I'll get the second equation. So, now when I substitute equation 2 into equation 1, then I'll get the value of y. Then after that, I substitute y back into the equation of 2. Then I'll get the value of z. So now, I get the coordinates of the point where the intersection line meets the yz plane. So now, I have the position vector. I have the direction vector. So I substitute into the equation. So now I get the equation of the line of intersection between the planes. Now I'm going to change the equation into Cartesian form. So first I write the parametric form of the equation. Then I change each of it by using lambda as the subject. And same thing, in case there is any fraction, we need to put down the denominator. So now when I combine the lambda, now this is the Cartesian equation of the line of intersection between the planes. So once again, when we look at the answer, it is different from the answer before this. So this is because the equation of line of intersection between two planes is not unique. Generally, there are a lot of options for the position vector of the point on the intersection line. But you must make sure that the point must be on the intersection line. However, if the question already gives the point on the intersection line, 
then you have to use the position vector of the point which is given. So that's all for now. Do you understand what you learned today? If you have any question, let me know in Teacher Eileen Maths group. If you find that this video is useful, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you keep on learning and keep on watching my videos. And I hope to see you soon. Bye.